Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will show you how to apply an automatic wind load on an area object. Uh, so I have this uh, truss right here, and I want to apply an automatic load on the surface, on the roof of this truss. So what we will do uh, before starting, we can see that uh, the roof is. Uh, only in y direction I don't have a roof in x direction here okay so we will apply the load only in y direction if you have x direction you can apply the load on the wind load on x direction also so here I will apply only in y direction so we'll go to define load patterns we will define uh, wind load pattern here wind and uh, it will be in y direction so wind y okay and here in type i will select wind and auto lateral load pattern i will select the code uh, that i want to apply the load from i will select the ubc 97 you can select any load uh, code you want then you can make the changes according to your uh, selected code so i will select ubc 97 then i will add new load pattern okay here now i will select this and i will go to modify lateral load pattern okay here wind speed wind speed i will give the wind speed about 100 mile per hour and the exposure type I will select DD is the worst condition so we can see the maximum capacity of the object uh, it goes from the lower to the greater worst conditions so I will select D importance factor okay we will go to code of UBC 97 and we can see the importance factor here okay this table 16k occupancy category okay my category is the special occupancy structure so it is one when important importance factor is one so i will select one then i will select exposure from area object okay then i will hit okay okay now what we will do we will apply the loads now we will apply the coefficients here then the shape will apply the loads automatically so i have i will go to ubc 97 code okay we have this pressure coefficient cq uh, cq factor in my uh situation uh i will select the windward roof uh, my slope is between 2.1 or uh, 16.7 percent and 75 percent so uh, i will select 0 0.9 outward or 0 0.3 inward so we will go to save then here we will see our local axis is in which direction so we will go to set display, display options and the area we will select local axis okay okay you can see that my axis is in upward direction so it's good if it is in the downward direction you can reverse it by selecting the area which you want to uh, reverse I will show you how I can I will select all of this then I will go to assign then area then reverse local 3 I will select I will hit ok ok you can see now it is in di downward direction you can see this so I will go back yes 
I want in upward direction. So I will select from the code. I will select uh, windward uh, 0 0.9. It is outward, and the leeward is 0 0.7. Okay, 0 0.9 inward, windward, and 0 0.7 leeward. So I can see that uh, this is in y direction. So this direction will be windward, and the other will be this will be leeward. So first of all, we will select. Okay, what we can do, we will go to select. Then we will go to properties. Then area sections. I will select only the area object. Then I will go to view and will uh, show selection only. Okay, now you can see we have only the area object with us so now i will select this part okay now i will go to assign then area loads then wind pressure coefficients okay here i will select wind y and as we said in windward it is 0 0.9 I will mm, write 0 0.9 if you want to write 0 0.3 inward you will add it as minus 0 0.3 because our lo local x is in upward direction so if you want to give the value in inward you will give it as minus 0 0.3 so now I will give 0 0.9 and it is in windward direction. I will hit OK. OK. Now I will go to the second part and I will select these areas. Then I will go to assign area loads, wind pressure coefficients. Here it is a uh, wind. Why now it is 0 0.7 outward. So I will write 0 0.7 and it is not inward, it is leeward. So I will select this one. I will hit OK. OK, now we can see the assignments of the load. So it is not in one word and it is 0 0.7. And you can see this one. It is 0 0.9 and it is one word. OK. Now we will run the analysis. First I will show all. Then we will run the analysis just to show you that it is working. OK, run. OK, now we will check the wind loads. OK, you can see that it is working. okay thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel for the upcoming tutorials and if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment section